Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls the Paladin. Did not expect to upload this today. I actually wanted to record some Mortal Kombat and Metal Gear Solid. But the thing is, I was warming up for Mortal Kombat and I'm pretty sure I just broke my PS4 controller's D-pad. Which kind of sucks. I haven't checked it out yet to see if maybe something just like dislodged in there and it can be fixed. Or whether it's something that's gonna like be unfixable and I need to go out and get a new PlayStation 4 comp controller, which I would rather not do because it costs as much as a full game. Oh, I just got grabbed. Why does that deal so much damage? It's because I have low HP, that's why. Um, so yeah, this is kind of out of the blue. I did not expect to record this game today, but what can you do? I do have a fight stick, by the way, just for Mortal Kombat. The only problem with that is, is that I'm not good with, with it at all. Like, I'm pretty good with pad, but the fight stick, I just can't get my head around it. And it's fine for Ultra Street Fighter 4, but I can't really play MKX on it. I don't know, I think it's because of that run mechanic that MKX just feels weird on a stick. But, yeah, luckily we still have this game, and this controller isn't broken. Which is weird, because I got this controller, like, three years ago, and I've been using it pretty much since then. But I haven't played a fighting game with it. And I've had the PlayStation 4 controller for, like, like nine months, and it's already busted. So, kind of strange. Hopefully, like I said, it is something that can be fixed, but for now, I'm going to be moving on here. The only reason I'm coming here is because I want to get the Elite Knight. Which, the best way to get is just to get in here and get the hell out. Because this is actually a pretty serious ambush, plus I don't have full SS flasks. So yeah, we're just going to go. And I'm not sure if I'll kill the Moon Knight Butterfly. Actually, I probably could do it, although, well, we'll see, we'll see. I think I'll go back to the bonfire and change my equipment around. I, Like I said, I did put on the wolf ring, or did I mention that? Right now, I'm just going to get the helmet because, as I mentioned in the previous episode, the main reason I want this set is because of the helmet. I think it is slightly heavier than the other set. Of course, it does provide... A tiny bit better defense, not by a huge uh, percentage, but it is better, technically. Well, I've been fat rolling before, I'm still fat rolling now. So, yeah, I guess that's not going to change much. I probably can't put on the full Elite Knight set yet, but we'll get around to it eventually. So, yeah, we're going to have a visit. I guess, you know what I could do? I could take out that crystal lizard down there, which might get me some upgrade materials. I have 3600 souls, which I'm either going to use to level up or to buy more, th more titanite shards. I can get the great sword by Sans Fortress, which I think is going to be my main weapon. But until then, I will have to upgrade this thing to what, like plus six or something. I don't know, I don't want to go overboard because once I get the great sword, I'm pretty much going to abandon this weapon. Don't even try about try to think about running. God, it's so much easier to hit. Yes, I got large shards. Okay, fucking ambulance outside. Thank you for that. Um, I'm not going to take out the Hydra just yet because I don't think I'm quite strong enough to do that. Grass Crest Shield don't really need it. Um, I really want to use shields that are 100% physical defense for this playthrough. But since I'm here and I do need to go to the Capra Demon, I might as well go this way. It is possible to go this way. Take out the Knight go back down through the 
Valley of Drakes. I can unlock the door because I... Oh, shit. I can unlock the door because I have the master key, so it's not going to be a problem. Let's just lure him. The easiest way to kill this guy is to backstab him off the cliff, which I'm really shit at doing. You need to like get good at it for the speed run. Come on. Is that the end of his aggro range? Seriously? I wanna go for that backstab. Oh, he just broke my guard. Oh, I thought he... Oh, fuck. He almost fell off, which is... Would have been a lot easier. Oh, shit. The only reason this guy is really difficult is because you have to fight him in this narrow ass little pathway here, this little cliff. Fuck. Might as well just kill him normally at this stage. And he's gone. Let's see if he drops the... Oh, he's not gone. Now he is. Just a blue titanite chunk. No weapon. Honestly don't mind it, but... You know, it would have been just nice to have it. This is good because at least I'll unlock this bonfire as well. Plus, it's not going to take too long. Will I be able to get to the Capra in this episode? I have no idea. We'll find out in a bit. Oh yeah, I also have heal. Fuck. Should have used it. That's one thing I'm really bad at. I always forget that I have healing magic with me. Okay, good. I was worried for a second that this wasn't going to work. But it does. This actually doesn't look so bad, the Elite Knight Helm with the normal Knight set. As for armor piece, I don't know what I'm going to be wearing throughout this playthrough. I might go for the Tarkus set, which I think that's the Black Iron set. Until I get the Paladin, and I'll probably mix and match. The only armor the Paladin set fits with is probably like Lawtrex. Because they're both kind of like the goldish color. Really not difficult to get past these drakes, luckily. And this is something you don't get to see very, very often. The I thought he fell off. That would have been good. These guys give you quite a bit of souls. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, you don't often get to go to the Valley of the Drakes from this angle here or this pathway normally always enter from the other side I'd prefer not to wake this thing up let's see where the oh yeah you can only access the pathway from the other side can't you as long as you don't collect these items he's not gonna wake up which is good cuz like I said first of all none of those things are that incredibly useful Second of all, I'm nowhere near strong enough to kill that thing. I do like this area though, this cliff type place. Has kind of a different feeling to it than other parts of the game. It is a very short area, more like a... It's more like a... I guess like a corridor that connects all the other areas. But yeah, we'll be able to get this open. And head back up. A rested fire link. I guess I'm gonna use these souls to level up then, because I didn't know what to do with them, but yeah, leveling up works. We're also gonna kill Lawtrek, because he's just gonna be a nuisance if I leave him alive. When he kills the fire keeper, it just, like I said, it becomes an annoyance. Sometimes I will complete his quest. I think I've completed it like twice, but I ah, just don't feel like doing it. Good old new Londo. Such a cool area. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to... Well, actually, I don't need to de-equip it. I'll just switch. Gotta get these kicks in order. I still, I'm still kind of shit at doing them. Whatever. Let's get up here and kick him off the cliff. 
We'll also be able to get the Ring of Favor and Protection, which I guess I'll wear for now. Until I get something better. Okay, good. I'm not too late. Goodbye. And of course, this game has that weird system, which luckily they didn't bring back for Dark Souls 2 and Bloodborne, where you need to quit and reload the game for items to appear. <clears throat> Not just for items to appear, but generally to um, s for some things, in order for some things to happen, you need to quit and reload the game, which is just like really stupid. I mean, I get what they were trying to do. Uh, what they were trying to do is make it so that when you stop playing, then you restart the game. You know, something different always happens. But I think that it just became a convoluted system. So, not worth bothering with it. Let's get a bit more endurance. Actually, no, we're fine on HP because I just took with the ring. But we definitely need endurance for this character. Let's go ahead and head to the Capra Demon. Is this... Actually, this is not the shortest way to him, is it? Wait a second. No, it might be. This is probably the shortest way to get to him. What is this? Oh, it's just a soul. I do need to use these souls eventually. One thing I always forget to do is keep using them throughout like the play playthrough. So at the end, I always end up having to waste like... 10 minutes using all of the consumables. What I should probably do is, in between episodes, use up the ones I have. Luckily, in this game, you can level up any at any bonfire. Which just does make things a lot easier. I mean, Bloodborne was probably the worst in that respect. And Demon Souls, where you constantly have to go back to the starting area to level up. That's one thing I hope they don't bring back for Dark Souls 3. Especially with Bloodborne and the initial load times when the game first came out. It's kind of annoying. As you can see, these guys can barely touch me. Which is always good. And this is nowhere near what type of defense I'm going to have by the end of the game. Yeah, we're just going to... Just gonna tank everything, which is admittedly fun. Being able to tank every single hit thrown against you. Alright. Easiest path to the Capra is probably through here. We're gonna we're gonna get hit by the dragon, but who gives a shit, honestly? Luckily the fire doesn't deal nearly enough damage to kill me. At least I hope it doesn't. Let's see if we can be... No, we can't. There is no way you can be quick enough. Oh, you can block it? Kind of. I did not actually know that. I wonder if you could tank that thing completely with, like, one of the heavier shields. I don't know. With, like, the black iron shield, I think it's called, that has, like, really good fire defense. Okay. Let's go down. Such a weird animation. But it's good, as long as you can do this. I'm happy. I love the hilt of this sword. It's so cool. I think the claymore also has it. Oh yeah, before we... Before we do anything else... Just open this up. Just to be on the safe side. And we probably have to kill these guys. I think they do come after you. Although I'm not 100% sure. That's me breaking his guard. And where did he come from? This guy. <laughs> that roll. The fat roll is kind of funny. But definitely it is the most realistic. When you think about it. I mean. Like flipping around in this type of armor. Doesn't make much sense. Oh there's someone here. That's interesting. I wonder if he's waiting for cooperation. If they're doing like a uh, co-op playthrough. Because you can actually kind of do that in this game. Sort of. 
if you place your stein in oh shit these dogs actually these dogs are a lot easier when you have poise they can actually be kind of annoying without it oh yeah we're not gonna be able to rescue this guy just yet One of the one of the few doors you can't unlock with the master key. But luckily the key itself doesn't cause that many souls. Cool. What even is this? I think it's a twin humanity might be. Okay. I can't tank everything. Gotta keep that in mind. Well, that was underwhelming, that heal. Wasn't it? Expected a bit more HP gain, but this is kind of a shitty talisman, if I remember correctly. Well, actually, it's not that bad, but it's the only one I have. The one I really want to get... Oh, okay. Well, thank you, PlayStation Network. Fuck. If my internet is screwed, how am I going to upload this? Damn. This is going to be annoying. Hopefully, it's not like gone gone and just like disconnected for a second because i did have trouble with my internet before uh when i got home but hopefully it's gonna be it's gonna be fixed by the time i get around to uploading this can't one shot them yet but taking a bit of their hp off does help Probably if I did a jumping attack, it would work. Alright, let's take care of you first. He just stood there. It's kind of weird. These guys have an extremely awesome set. They look like fucking Jawas. Except with normal proportions. But yeah, they have a very cool set. It's light though, so it's not going to be something that I use. And plus, it's kind of annoying to get, because it is a pretty rare drop. Not the rarest, but it's going to take a while for you to get it. Yeah, normally this area is actually quite a bit more annoying, like I said, without having any poise. Because these, guy these guys have very quick, especially the dogs, have very quick attacks. And they just end up kind of stunlocking you. And that's just bad times. Oh, hey there. The only thing that's kind of annoying, well, I guess it's something ju I just have to get used to, is how slow I am in terms of, like, movement. It feels so sluggish. But I guess it's meant to, so... Let's go heal up. Oops. I don't know what that was. It got caught on something, my weapon. Yeah, there's that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, it did happen. By me mashing parry, pretty much. But hey, as long as it works. And they're dealing jack shit damage. So yeah, let's go pick up the soul that's here. Yeah, I'll get to Capra in the next episode. I just unlocked the shortcut back to Firelink. This episode mainly consisted of me walking, essentially. Didn't accomplish too much, but we got to kill shit, which is always fun. Plus we have this merchant here who might buy a couple of charcoal pine resins, because I think I have one more gold pine left. Yeah, let's go and get some of this. We like get like three. Charcoal pine resin is good. Not nearly as good as lightning pine resin, but we'll take it. It's probably what I'm going to be using for the Capra, because the gold pine does ridiculous damage to the gaping dragon. Because one of the weird systems in this game is that dragons are actually weak to lightning. So... It's good to keep that one for an actual dragon boss. Unfortunately, with the amount of faith I'm going to end up with, 
I probably won't have enough stats to use the Sunlight Blade Miracle, which is the lightning weapon buff in the game. But you know what? We'll do fine without it. Yeah, these guys are dropping a bunch of stuff, but uh, these types of enemies can't drop Titanite shards. So basically, whatever they have, I'm not interested in. What it's like might be like um, their armor or... I think they can drop fire bombs as well, which... Nothing I'm interested in, basically. I should have bought the key while, while I was in the burg. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Let's see if we can level up. And we can't. Now, what I do want to check is how much the Thurland Talisman is. I'm pretty sure it costs... Um, like... 5,000 souls, I think. Which I might be able to get. Because I think that's the talisman that has, like, um, permanent scaling. It's like the Ulysil Catalyst. Uh, this talisman and only has high miracle adjustment, which, thanks to divine protection, is not dependent on fate. Yeah, this is the one I want. Um, if you're... Yeah, 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 I know. Still not enough. Still not enough. Thank you. Fuck, that's still not enough. Like I said, I still have my uh, book in the way of the humanity counter. It's just where it is. Can't see it properly. God damn it. It's gonna take ages. Should have just used the larger soul. Thank you. Let's go and get this. So this is the miracle equivalent of the Ulysil Catalyst in that it doesn't matter what your faith is, this thing has pretty much a permanent uh, miracle scaling, which like I said makes it best if your faith is between like 12 to 18, which I'm going to be at throughout this playthrough. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of The Paladin. And I'll see all of you next time. Goodbye.